What is going on guys? I know it has been a freaking minute since I uploaded a video for you, but today is my redemption. Just kidding, it's just one video. But I hope you enjoy it. As the title implies, we are going to be working on my EK Civic today, and we're gonna be painting this car for as cheaply as we can. Now, since it is Colorado and it's snowing outside in like freaking two degrees, we're going to be transforming my shop here into a fully functional paint booth. And hopefully I don't end up with freaking paint all over this damn place for the next 10 years that I just cannot clean up. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys around the car real quick and why this thing really needs some attention to the paint department. And uh, then we'll jump into things. So taking a quick walk around the car, you can already tell why it needs painted. We got some silver body panels back here, a whole bunch of mismatched primer right here. Then we have a freaking silver door. And up here on the fender, we actually have a little bit of rust starting to form where it was sanded down to bare metal and never recovered with anything. So uh, I think it's time to finally put some paint on this thing and make it all match and hopefully keep it from rusting out. Uh, this thing's actually really rust free at the moment. It's just like this only this surface rust right now and there's no other rust on the car. So hopefully we'll get some fresh paint on this thing and make it look good as new. And I did mention we're gonna be doing this as cheaply as we can. So I've decided on doing just a single stage paint and I've decided on just doing it black. I know black shows off a ton of bodywork imperfections, but we're gonna be trying to take care of that the best we can for as reasonable of a cost as we can. And the single stage will keep prices down on paint quite a bunch. Hopefully when it's all said and done, it turns out good. I'm no professional, but I think it'll look all right. So yeah, I guess the, uh, the next thing to do is start sanding on this thing. Uh, I'm gonna start the time lapse. If you guys don't feel like watching it, make sure to click, well, don't click up here. It won't do shit, but pause the video. But if you skip forward to this time right here, you'll be able to skip the time lapse and uh, hopefully the car will be all torn apart and sanded down by that time. So yeah, let's jump into it. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent 
and horrifying news. Well guys, thanks to the magic of editing, it has been about a week, but only a few seconds for you guys. And I've been working on the car. As you can tell, it does look a bit different from the last clip. Uh, we were working on it, getting it sanded down, and I was trying to film as much of it as I could. Uh, but time got away from me. I had to get customer stuff done, and then this kind of just got put on the back burner. And when I had the time, had time to work on it, I kind of just got it done and you know didn't really think about it. But today we are getting set up to uh, get this thing sprayed. We're just getting ready to set up our paint booth deal. Uh, this is gonna be how you do a paint booth for $50 and uh, all you need is a pre-existing building or you know like a garage or something like that. Uh, but this is a really easy way to keep the mess minimal and also get really good results and keep it dust free. Like I had mentioned, this is a $50 Walmart special booth. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got and how this is all gonna work. Right here, we have four filters. These are for like a furnace. They're really high flow, but do catch particles. Uh, so these will be our intakes for our paint booth so that we filter out all of the air coming into the booth and that it's nice and clean. And then in here, I have six rolls of this plastic. This is just uh, some drop cloth stuff. And this is 10 foot by 20 foot one mil thickness. I went with the thinner thickness of this material so that I can allow as much ambient light to come through the paint booth as I can. And then I also got four rolls or four rolls of duct tape and uh, somehow we're gonna affix our plastic to the door rails here and uh, down to the floor over here and over here. And then we're gonna put a floor in it and hopefully will come from about halfway up on this or halfway this way on our garage door. Hopefully we'll come right about here, come all the way forward to the top of the two post lift here and then come down on both sides. And then we're gonna be using two of my big fans to act as our exhaust for the paint booth. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work really well. Kind of confusing, but I think you guys will get the gist once we start getting it put together. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse and knock this thing out real quick. Well guys, we are just about there. We are getting ready to spray the car. I've got the paint booth all set up. It's freaking hot in here because we got the heater cranked up quite a bit. And uh, I've just been rushing to get this thing done because I got plans tonight, but I need to get the first coat of primer on the car. Well guys, it has been a couple days um, and the clips have been kind of jumping around so I apologize. 
Uh, but two days ago, I went ahead and sprayed the first coat of primer onto the car. I did two coats on that and uh, we got it all in one color. I used that coat kind of to finalize any of my body work and see where my big dents and highs and lows were. I got all those mostly corrected. There are a few dents I didn't really care about, so I just left them uh, as this isn't you know a show car or anything. So there are a couple dents in it, but anyways, that first coat of primer was to help identify any of those areas. And then yesterday I went ahead and sprayed my second two coats of primer on the car. I used that coat to block sand and get everything flowing really nice together. And today I went ahead and painted the car already. Now I didn't film me spraying the car because I didn't want to get the camera all gummy. Uh, we used a single stage paint uh, black interstate black from Eastwood and it's really sticky so I didn't feel like wearing the GoPro into the booth and getting it all nasty and having to clean it uh, but I'm gonna go ahead turn the camera around take you guys inside the booth and show you how the car turned out before we head into the booth though I wanted to make a quick little note that I had not sprayed the bumpers just yet I'm gonna wait to do these tomorrow morning uh, the first reason is I didn't have enough room in the booth to comfortably spray everything together and also I wanted to mix up the paint separate for these so that I could add just a little bit of flex additive and that'll allow the paint to flex around a little bit more uh, since these bumpers are really flimsy uh, without the paint cracking. So I'll paint these guys in the morning along with the little grill insert but let's go ahead and head into the booth and I will show you guys how the car is looking. And just like that, the whole freaking car is in one gosh darn color for like the first time in 20 years. No more 50 shades of gray with this bad boy. But on a more serious note, the car does look pretty good. Uh, it definitely could be better. I'm sure a professional would have blown my work out of the water. Uh, but for what it is, I'm actually really happy with it. We're definitely going to have to cut and buff the paint once it cures fully. So here in a couple weeks, I'll do that uh, as there is a little bit of texture on the surface. But I think the main issue was I didn't use enough reducer in the paint get it to flow out of the gun very nice uh, but otherwise it really doesn't look that bad it actually looks pretty good there's just a few areas that will really need a little bit of attention uh, with a cut and buff and whatnot to make them look perfect but it is looking really good here are the little panels that go on the back of the car and you can see my reflection there the GoPro and whatnot and uh, they turned out pretty good but like I said definitely not perfect definitely could use a little bit more experience doing this stuff so with that being said, I'm pretty damn happy with the car, but it is late, so I'm going to go home and get some sleep. In the morning, we're going to put it aside so we can see what it looks like under the sun and also get those bumpers painted. And uh, yeah, we'll jump to that right now. Well, guys, I done muffed up. I forgot to film the car out in the sun so that you guys could really see how it looks. But there is a picture on my Instagram at SketchyDA. So if you guys haven't, make sure to go follow me. I almost said subscribe. Go follow me on the Instagram. I post a ton of pictures of just whatever I'm working on on there and a lot more frequently than I do on YouTube. So if you guys want to see that, go check it out on the Instagram uh, as far as that goes. But I'm going to show you guys around the car real quick uh, just before I head out tonight and show you guys how it turned out. And there you guys have it, a quick look around the EK Civic. It's looking pretty good. Like I said though, I'm no professional and it definitely could have been better. I'm sure a professional would have done a lot better, but I'm happy with how it turned out. And with a quick cut and buff on the thing, get rid of some of that orange peel, I think it's gonna look freaking awesome. So I'm really stoked for that and to get everything back together for it. Uh, but as far as tonight goes, that's probably where I'm gonna leave off. I'm pretty tired. I'm tired of rambling on in this video like I have been. 
Uh, so I'm gonna head home, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another thing I wanted to mention is we can no longer call the car 50 Shades of Grey since it's in one color. So if you guys have any name ideas, make sure to leave them down in the comments below and uh, be looking out for the next video because we're gonna be cutting and buffing the car, making that paint job look awesome. We're also gonna be painting the bumpers in that video. And uh, I got a little surprise too. So if I flip the camera around, you'll be able to see the little bit of a surprise that we will be diving into in the next couple videos. So if you guys wanna see this thing get put together and then go into the car, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And after you click that subscribe button, if you haven't, make sure to ring the little bell next to it so you're notified when I upload videos. And other than that, leave a comment and a like down below. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try and upload more of this next month since we're doing cool stuff again. So, yeah, do that and whatnot. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you later. Peace.